Yo, what's up, party people? It's your boy Crazy Alkane, SugarCane.com. C A C T V. Today is Monday, June 15th. It is the first day that they opened up the bike lane on the Mario Cuomo Bridge, aka Tappan Z Bridge. And um, so I drove up here to give it a to give it a look over. Gonna ride my bike on the bridge. Gonna check it out, see how cool it is. It's three miles long. And I think it just starts and finishes at the uh, either side of the bridge, but I'm gonna find out. I have my good GoPro, but um, the battery for some reason didn't charge, so I have to use my old joint. So instead of that smooth camera look, you're gonna get some uh, jitty, shaky vibrations. But we're gonna get it popping right now, right here on the show, sugarcane.com. Let's go check it out. I think it's mandatory that you wear a helmet on this bridge. I'm gonna rock my little nutcase joint. You can see the news is here. Eyewitness news. How you doing? How you get in? This way? Thank you. Speed
nice. Oh wow. Yeah, you can go all the way down this Wow, that's cool. You want to your feet even better all the way down. This is this is quite far enough. Yeah, right? <laughs> nice. What's up, bro? Good wait for this, man. Yeah, man. so we reached the end most of it coming from the other side is going downhill so that means on the way back it's all uphill for the most part so that should be interesting it's a nice ride nice path they got a lot of historical information on the way I mean, the different outlooks are real nice man it's really really nice you should definitely come up here and ride this path because uh, it's a lot of fun and I think there's like some other bike paths around here somewhere that you can go but I don't know. I'm just going to keep it on the bridge. The bike ride is open for everybody to come and check out. So come through. So they have food trucks and stuff in different places. They got like a little booth set up here so you can refuel and refresh yourself. They got some cool sculptures and things you can check out. You can also park on either side, like right next to the bridge. You can park your car and then just go. There's lots of parking around. On this side, not so much. It's just this parking lot. But on the other side, on the, um, on the, uh, ooh, what side of Park Town is that? We got restrooms over here. different stages of the building of the bridge
way back over the bridge and I forgot to put my Strava on like a dodo. Uh-huh. So now I'm gonna put my Strava on and I'm almost done with my ride, but at least I can document that I went over some of it on Strava. Getting my Strava on. Now I wanna go back over the bridge just so I can get that. Two miles maybe left for the ride. Oh well. 2.3 miles left to go. So I made it back over the bridge. I got a little uh, two mile Strava documentation going on. But the bridge is fun, it's nice, it's a little tight. When it gets real crowded and packed, it's gonna be a little, you gotta do a little navigating on there. But um, today was nice. Had a couple of clusters that were kind of full, but it's definitely worth coming down to check out. Checking out the history of the bridge, uh, how it started to where it is today. And also uh, to sit on a balcony up there the different little rest stops check out the water it's real nice chickencane.com check out crazy alcane on youtube all that good stuff and that's what it is all right back to some dirt jumping and, and curb tricks now all right so we out back to you billy